Hello and welcome back. So I have logged in as the one of the super admins again. So what we want to do here is activate our search. Because here we have, for example, students. Uh, matter of fact, we can do it here. We want to be able to search for a particular student in case there are many. And then we will also add some pagination because we may need to go to several pages um, just to get to all the students in the school. All right, so let's make this search bar actually work. So the first thing we would do is make sure that once we click here, we would do a submit. Now, this type of submit should not be a post submit, it should be a get submit. So once I click here, nothing happens. But uh, let's go to our code and see what's going on. So in the code, head over to the views, uh, the views folder and go to the students dot view. So in here, we have this nav bar here. This is this nav bar right here, which has this button and the form. So we are only interested in what's inside the form here. So for us to be able to submit something in the form, we need a button of some kind, a submit button. And so this thing right here is the one that has that, uh, this icon, the search icon there. So let's change this from a span to a button. So I'll change this to button like this. So it's a button here and it has the closing button tag there. And just by doing that, we now have the capacity to submit. So if I now click here, it does refresh the page. And you can see a question mark there in the um, URL signifying that this is a get request. And the only problem is we don't have any params there and that's because our input doesn't have a name. So let's give our input a name and we're going to name it search like this. Or you can name it find just to simplify things. And uh, that's about it actually. So now if I click find, I will get find is equal to but then if I type some text here, um, you notice that if I submit, now I have find is equal to plus the value that I had added in here. So this is going great. So far, we are submitting a value to search for. The only thing we need now is to tell it to actually only retrieve uh, records that match this search term. So here I'm not really sure how you'd want to do it. What you want to search for really, is it the rank or the names only? So for now, we're just going to deal with the names. You can add as many or variables in your query as you want to get the desired result. So this is enough. We just need to know if find is in the URL, then we know that we are trying to find something. And I would do so in the, um, let's go to students uh, controller, since this is where we are reading. And here, as you can see, we have a very specific query. Now, to simplify things, instead of repeating the code over and over again, what I will do is separate the query and the part that runs the query. So to do that here, I will press enter and add a query uh, variable like so. And then I'm going to just cut what's here. So cut that and just add the query variable there and paste it over here. Okay, so we have our query here and we have this part that runs. So if we do have a get variable, we just need to change the query. Everything else stays the same. So let's check to see if there's something in the get. So 
here I'm going to say if is set like so uh, get uh, find so what I would do is I'll add this query at the top here like this and then if this is set we'll change the query before we get to this point so that once we get here we are running a very different query from the one we started with so I'll copy this because most of it is similar paste it here then I will have a new variable called find and I will equate this find to whatever is in the get at this point and then what I would do is to make it searchable because I don't want um, us to search for an exact value no so if for example the user is let me come back here for a second Jones for example if I type J O N I should be able to find this user meanwhile let me go to the table and let's see school DB let's check what we have here in the users table so in users table the names are separate there's first name and last name so we must match both of these so back here again let's try to match those so we'll put some wild cards like this what have I done okay and we'll do the same thing at the beginning here percent so percent is known as the wild card because it tells uh, MySQL that you don't care what's at the beginning you don't care what's at the end as long as the name matches part of uh, what's in here in the find okay so that's why we're adding this now if you just want um, because there are different ways to search you may want it to search in such a way that you must at least know the beginning of the word you're searching for for example if you're searching for Maria if you just type Ria in our case what we've done is it's going to return this name even though you search for a r it will return this whole name but you can set it in such a way that you want it to only match let's say m a and then it to finish off at the end or you want somebody to match the last and then it doesn't matter what's at the beginning so whichever side of the text you don't care what is there you add the percent sign so if i remove the first one here it means i must match the beginning but the ending doesn't matter if i put it on both sides it means i don't care what's on both sides of the text uh, as long as there's something matching in between it will return that result okay so let's look at the query itself now so if i say select all from users where this uh, school id is important the rank is important because we are looking at students only but then we should add an extra uh, and here to make sure that we match that as well but let's put this in brackets like so because we need it to evaluate as one because we want to match several things now here I want to match the first name first so where first name and uh, it would be something like first name is equal to and then let's put the find and then we'll say or last name is equal to and let's just this use the same find like this so if you want to match the uh, other parameters as well you can just keep adding the or 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 and so on and so forth so all this will evaluate as one either true or false and then it will be compared to the rest of this because it's in brackets like this it will evaluate first okay so first name is equal to find last name is good now we don't use the equal sign since we are using uh these wild cards here otherwise it would try to find something that has a wild card inside it but instead we change the equal sign to the like like so so once we do that uh, it changes things now we need to add the same find in uh, i don't know whether this will work just using one item for both variables here i've never tried that before but uh, let's see if it will work here so at this point we're adding the school id no worries because we need the school id here but we need to add the find as well 
so it means what we were trying to do will actually fail because here um, unless wait a second if I cut this out and just type AR like this and then use AR in different ways so I can just say AR is equal to and paste that like so okay so here I'll say AR school ID like this let me move all these out of here so AR school ID is equal to that okay cool so we do need the school ID regardless whether we are checking for this as well so here all I will do is add to it instead of school ID I will add the find and put find over here so it means if it passes through here we're going to add to the array which already has school id we'll add the find and then we'll run it here if we don't go through here there'll only be one item in there and it will suit the query as well okay great let's give it a test run shall we so here i'm going to search for guy and as you can see guy is back look at that awesome and maybe i'll search for um, let's see here i want to search for ma mary there we go let's search for bob look at that now i want this to be sticky now we could use a helper like we created in the other videos but um let's just do something real quick so i'm going to come here and put a value attribute like this and just put an if statement so i'm going to say is set if the get variable is set here so this one will be get um find then we'll display get find so if is set then echo the same thing get uh, find otherwise full colon empty semicolon close that okay great so if I come back here and search for Bob again or just B it remains there so Bob let's search for Mary nothing let's search for MA there we go Okay, so at least you can see now that we are able to search for students quite easily. So now let's move the searching thing to everything else. I'll see you in the next video.